Hello and welcome to another one of my thrilling videos. In this video I'm going to feature a new product which I call an ATEM2 deck controller. It allows you to control any 9-pin um, control RS422 controllable deck using a ATEM's HyperDeck interface. So as you know with an HyperDeck with an ATEM you can hook up up to four um, HyperDecks to be able to control recording and playing back and uh, all the things you'd want to do off a, a, a pre-recorded video and um, and with this interface here you can use it to make a, any video deck think it's a hyper deck and um, it has the advantage of, of being able to record videos onto it for later playback into a live show without having to go to the trouble of working out how to convert the files to a HyperDeck file. Now on this particular system here at the moment I'm just running uh, two HyperDecks. Um, I call them Beta and Alpha. Uh, and then the third pseudo HyperDeck is a DBC Pro Deck as I've just shown you here. Um, the Beta Deck I've got sitting over here. Um, it's a HyperDeck rack mountable one. Down here I have a HyperDeck Mini down here working. They've both got 9-pin controls but I'm actually controlling them both off the normal um, Ethernet, uh, built-in Ethernet control on the ATEM. Um, but here I'm just going to just demonstrate the use of um, a videotape deck or using the RS422. Um, you can see um, this is the box working here. That's, that's just the just one of the one of the ones that not plugged in. On, on the box you can see on the back we have a RS422 connector which is there. I wonder if I can get this thing to focus. There you go. We've got an RS422 connector for plugging into the deck. It's just pin to pin to the deck. And on this end we have the Ethernet connector that goes off to um, the ATEM network. And um, we also have either power in through the USB uh, 5 volts or we can come in through this connector here which gives us like 6 to 14 volt power in. You can also use the um, USB connect to do your normal uh, setting IP addresses and, and just sundry stuff. But, but, but um, all the control from the ATEM comes in via the Ethernet connector and also all the con all the uh, configuration of the box itself comes in through the same connector just using a Telnet port um, and as you can see here these are all the functions you can do and one of the functions you can do which I won't be showing in this video I'll show you in, in probably the next one you can you can load clip lists to make the deck look like it's got a whole bunch of clips on it where in fact it's just back to back recordings so on here I've got a whole bunch of um, co television commercials which are all back to back uh, and I've done the Q sheet in uh, Excel spreadsheet. I've actually got two here, but I'm just using the second one for the moment. Um, and um, these are all just 30 second television commercials, which I will show you in a moment how um, they're all recorded and they'll all play back through the ATEM and using all the features that the DV uh, that the um, Hyperdex have. We go into the settings. You see here the three hyperdecks I've got. I've got a spare one sitting here. Um, but you can actually, um, in thinking that in making the ATEM think it's a hyperdeck, you can tell it to auto roll on cross points. And um, you see there's the input there. You can select the input you want it to roll on. And, and then when you um, when you select it on the program row, it will it will automatically roll it as per the ATEM control. Um, and you can see I've got a 10 frame offset here because the video deck, this video deck takes 10 frames to, to get up to speed so you can get, um, so the ATEM will delay the switch to the cross point until that 10 frames is up which means that when it does cut to that cross point it's going to be rolling and we, it'll roll perfectly frame accurate so you, you won't miss one frame of um, action as it rolls. Um, so, uh, as you can see here, I can select any of the, the decks. Um, um, here, um, I've just selected um, the DVC Pro deck that I've got sitting here. And, um, and I've got all the controls. I can hit play. Um, you can see it's playing there. I can hit stop. 
which is just pause. I can um, uh, use the uh, shuttle. That's me shuttling backwards. And I can shuttle it forwards. Um, and it's using the, the normal shuttle over here. Shuttle backwards, shuttle forwards. And then of course I can then switch over to jog mode. You can see me jogging backwards, jogging forwards. Come back here, jogging backwards, jogging forwards. You can see there's me jogging forwards, jogging backwards. So it's just doing all the stuff that it will do on a hyperdeck. <coughs> you can, um, you see these are just a list of whole lot of commercials I've got here at the moment. So I can actually click on any one. Let's go click on this one, Mark Rebel. Um, you'll see that as it's scrolling back, it's actually detecting where it is on the, on the videotape clip. You can see it's scrolling back up there. And you'll see it's actually going to queue up on that's the first frame of that commercial. So you can see the time code number says it sits here. 11.07.52.07 and you can see in my log that's the same number up there if you look at Rebel 11.02.52.07 so it's all it's, everything's all frame accurate um, and of course you can um, use the uh, this takes you back one clip and um, you can see it's now queuing back one clip and um, being videotape it tends to overshoot but um, it'll always sit on the right frame and that's now on the very first frame of that commercial. Um, and I can like I can click down here, and now it's queuing all the way down to there. And as I said, each of these are 30 second commercials. Unlike a hyperdeck, which instantaneously can queue to any clip, this has obviously got a spool tape. Um, but if you've got a couple of these decks running a whole bunch of commercials, you can almost have run an automated on air television station just running off, off of these um, to a couple of these clips. Um, but you you got all the other all the other features that, that you have on a hyperdeck, and um, and that's just about it. All I wanted to say in this particular video, I just before I hang up, I'm going to just advise you that um, this light flashing on the front here. If I frame it up, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's a little light there that's flashing. Um, it's flashing red and green. The green indicates. Uh, it's receiving data from the ATEM and the red indicates it's receiving data from the deck. So if I just say unplug deck data for instance um, you see it's no longer flashing red that orange is just the ambience of the, of the LED itself. So if I plug the um, get my hand in here, plug, plug the 9 pin back in again it will start flashing red. There you go. So um, that way they, it can, you, you get instant feedback knowing that you've got both communications happening to the deck, both communications happening through uh, from the ATEM. So um, hopefully in the next video I can start explaining some of the, um, some of the more operational um, use of it. But basically is all we're doing is we're making a video deck and it can be any video deck. This deck is just happens to be a Panasonic um, DVC Pro HD. But um, later I'll be showing you how to do <coughs> HD cam decks, SR decks. Um, I've even got an old one inch deck here that I could show you, but I won't. It's too hard to set up. Um, so I hope you enjoy, and if you ask any questions, give me a call. I mean an email. Thank you.